Hey, it's great to see you. Are you struggling with retirement life after a long military and law enforcement career? Well, watch this video and I will show you how to deal with those struggles. Let's ride. In today's video, I will cover the struggles that veterans and retired law enforcement officers face during their first year of retirement and what you can do to reduce or eliminate these challenges. But I want you to stay to the end of the video and I will share something with you that's going to help you get through this first year. For those of you who are new to this channel, I am retired military. I served 22 years in the Army. I also did 19 years as a law enforcement officer and I retired from that profession as well. And let me tell you, the transition was not easy. Many veterans and retired law enforcement officers face similar struggles when they retire. First and foremost, there's the loss of structure and routine. Every day in the military or as a law enforcement officer, your day was planned out for you. In the military, you knew what you were going to do and how you were going to do it before you did it. In law enforcement, you had a structure. You had roll call, you patrolled your area, you investigated crimes, you attended court, and also participated in in-service training. But in retirement, there's so much more free time, which can be overwhelming for some. Embrace structure. One of the biggest challenges in retirement is the loss of structure and routine. To overcome this, try to find ways to structure your day. Take up a hobby, volunteer, or even find a part-time job. This will help you feel more productive and give you a sense of purpose. Get up every day at the same time, make your bed, have your breakfast, work out, start your routine, and tackle the day. Reestablishing structure after you retire from the military or law enforcement career is very challenging, but there are several steps you can take to feel more productive and have a sense of purpose. Identify your priorities. Take some time to reflect to find out what is important to you and what you want to achieve in your retirement years, whether it's travel, volunteering, or spending time with the family. Identify what's most important to you and use that as a starting point to reestablish structure in your life. Set goals. Set achievable goals that align with your priorities. This could be anything like learning a new skill, starting a new hobby, or completing a home improvement project. Having specific achievable goals can help you focus and provide a sense of purpose. Establish a routine. Create a routine that includes exercise, hobbies, and social activities. Incorporate physical activity and social interaction into your daily routine. Incorporating physical activity and social interaction can help you feel more energized and fulfilled. Volunteering can be a great way to establish structure and give back to your community. Look for opportunity to volunteer for courses that are important to you. Or consider being a mentor or a coach for young adults in your community. Seek support. Joining a support group or connecting with other retirees can provide a sense of community and help you navigate the challenges of retirement. Find meaning in work. If you're not ready to fully retire, find a part-time job that aligns with your skills and interests, whether it's consulting, teaching, or starting a small business. Working after retirement can provide a sense of purpose and structure. Remember, reestablishing structure after retiring from the military or law enforcement career requires effort and reflection. But by setting new goals, establishing a routine, seeking out new experiences, and seeking support from others, you can find a new sense of purpose and fulfillment in your retirement years. Another big struggle is the loss of purpose. When you're in the military or law enforcement, you have a sense of purpose and a mission to accomplish. But in retirement, it can feel like that purpose is gone. And that can lead to feelings of boredom, depression, and anxiety. Some may feel a sense of loss of identity because that's all they ever knew. When you were working, you were either Officer Smith, Sergeant Smith, Detective Smith, Sergeant Major Smith. Now, you're just John. Find a new purpose. A way to do this is to mentor young people that are entering in your field. Or you can start a business. Having purpose will give you a sense of fulfillment. Reflect on your values and interests. Take time to think about what's important to you and what you enjoy doing and what you're passionate about. This will help you identify areas that you can focus on in your post-retirement life. Try new things. Don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try new things. Whether it's teaching, taking up a new hobby, or traveling to new places, exploring new experiences can help you discover your new purpose in life. Get involved in your community. Giving back to your community can be a great way to find a new sense of purpose in retirement life. You can continue to serve by volunteering with organizations that mirror your values and interests and getting involved in their activities and events. Explore your entrepreneurial spirit. 
If you've always had that go-get-it attitude, consider starting a new business or consulting in your field of expertise. Consider returning to school. If you're looking for a new challenge, consider going back to school and learning something totally new to you. Whether it's a degree program or just taking courses for personal enrichment, continuing your education can help you find purpose and meaning in life. Question of the day for my veterans and law enforcement officers out there. What is the one thing that you have struggled with the most after you retire? Comment below and share with us. I really want to know. Third, there's the financial aspect. Retirement is a lot more expensive than we thought. Veterans and law enforcement officers find out that their pensions or benefits may not cover all their expenses. This could be especially challenging for the military veterans who are used to a specific kind of lifestyle and suddenly have to make adjustments. After leaving the military, you soon realize that housing and medical costs are so much more expensive than they were when you were in the military. Reality really smacks you hard and it can be challenging if you're not ready for it. Managing your finances after retirement can be a very daunting task, but there are steps that you can take to make sure that you're making the most out of your retirement savings and pensions. Manage your finances. Many veterans when leaving the military find out that civilian life is a lot more expensive than when you were in the military. To overcome this, it's important that you get a handle on your finances. Consider consulting with a financial advisor or taking a budgeting course to help you better manage your money. Make a budget. Start by creating a budget that accounts for all fixed expenses, as well as your discretionary spending. This will help you in getting a handle on your monthly expenses and identify areas where you can cut back. Review your retirement income. Take a close look at all your retirement income sources, including your pension, social security, and any investment or savings account. Make sure you know how much money you have coming in each month and how much of that is guaranteed income versus income that may fluctuate. Consider downsizing. Downsizing to a smaller home or relocating to a less expensive area can help you reduce your housing expenses and stretch your retirement dollars further. For instance, the median property taxes for New Jersey are about $8,000 a year. In contrast, in North Carolina, it's about $1,200. Evaluate your investment portfolio. Regularly reviewing your investment portfolio will help you stay on track to meet your financial goals. Consider working with a financial advisor or using a robo-advisor to help you optimize your portfolio for retirement. Be mindful of debt. If you have debt such as mortgage or credit card balances, it's important to have a plan to pay it off. Consider prioritizing your debt payments and make sure you have a budget in place to help you pay off those monthly debt payments. Plan for taxes. Finally, don't forget about your taxes. Make sure you understand the tax implications of your retirement income and consider working with a tax professional to help minimize your bill. Managing your finances after retirement requires careful planning and discipline. But by taking the time to review your income and expenses, making a budget and seeking professional advice when necessary, you can make the most out of your retirement savings and enjoy a comfortable retirement. And there's the social aspect. In the military and law enforcement, you have a solid sense of solidarity and brotherhood. But in retirement, you may feel that you miss that connection and feel isolated. Life goes on without you at the job. New people come into the job and later on, they don't even know your name. Wow, how is that for feeling appreciated? Staying connected after the military or law enforcement can be challenging, but there are ways to maintain and strengthen your relationship with your former colleagues. Join a veteran or law enforcement organization. One of the biggest challenges in retirement is the loss of that brotherhood. To overcome this, make an effort to stay connected with others. Consider joining a local or national organization for veterans or law enforcement officers. These organizations can provide a sense of community and that brotherhood that you so dearly miss. They can also offer social activities, networking, and other resources for retirees. Staying connected with others will help you feel less isolated and more fulfilled. Help with events and initiatives. Look for opportunities to help with events or initiatives dealing with the military or the law enforcement profession. Whether it's a charity run, a veteran support group, or a community safety initiative, volunteering is a great way to stay connected and give back. Participate in reunions and events. 
Consider attending reunions and events for military and law enforcement retirees. These events are a great way to reconnect with former colleagues and reminisce about your experiences. Use social media. Many veterans and law enforcement retirees use social media to stay connected with each other. Consider joining a social media group or other online community dedicated to military or law enforcement retirees. Mentor the next generation. Consider mentoring the next generation of military or law enforcement personnel, whether it's through formal programs or simply offering advice and guidance. Mentoring can be a great way to stay connected to your former profession and give back to the community. Stay physically active. Consider joining a local sports league, participating in recreational activities, or simply working out with friends. Remember, Staying connected after leaving the military or law enforcement profession takes effort on your part. But by seeking out opportunities, it can be done. The first year of retirement can be very challenging, but it's not impossible. By taking the time to find new structures, purposes, and connections, you can make the most of this new chapter in your life. I'm glad you stayed with me this far, and I want to share a link that I have below, and it's a checklist to help you go through this first year of retirement. Things that you can do, things to look for, ways to help yourself. Use it to your benefit, and don't forget, pass it forward. If you found value in this video, comment below, but most importantly, share with your friends and family to help them get through that first year of retirement. Also, watch this next video about the seven secrets to a happy retirement life, and I'll see you there.